Hello, hi, this is a different setup. This is my room that I love very much. I'm filming here because I just finished a chat video for my wellness channel, which is Meg Dion Wellness. You can subscribe. I will leave the link to my second channel in the description. One of my most commonly asked questions is why is my resin bendy? And so I thought I would give you why it could be bendy because I know it's a very frustrating thing. Also, hi, my name is Meg. I make videos about resin art and small business content. So if that interests you, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you part of this beautiful beautiful, awesome community. One of the key things that is going to affect your resin curing properly is the temperature of the room. I believe it has to be 21 degrees Celsius, optimal resin curing temperature. Beware of a room that has extreme fluctuating temperatures. I live in Canada, so I know that in the winter time when I shut the door to a room, it can get very cold when you don't have that airflow. If you have a room that is going to drastically get really cold and then really hot or what, just be mindful of that. That's also why sometimes I think garages can be tricky because I know they get very cold at night compared to your house. Although I think garages are a great place to work in terms of safety and ventilation and fresh air. When it comes to curing, it may not be the best idea. I asked my very kind subscribers the most common reason why their resin didn't cure and they mostly said not mixing properly. So make sure that for your specific brand, you are mixing your resin the way that they have asked you to. Because for art resin, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so I'm mixing equal parts resin and equal parts hardener. And make sure they are actually equal parts. If you need two different cups, you need one and you, you double it, just make sure that you have very, very well measured it out. However, some resins have a two-to-one ratio, so it actually may not be a full cure yet. I know for art resin, if I'm making something very thin, such as a bookmark, it does take three days to get that full cure, and it says three to five, so it's bendy after 24 hours and it's a very thin item. Don't panic yet, just make sure you leave it flat so that it cures flat. But an extra tip, if something cures a little out of whack and it's very thin, you can use a heat gun, being mindful not to burn yourself, so that it becomes a little bit more flexible and then you can put a textbook or something heavy on it to flatten it back out. So if something gets warped or ruined in any way, there is a way to fix it. Bring in layers that are way too thick for art resin, for example. You need to pour in pretty thin layers, so if I were to keep piling it on, it may not cure as well, and if it does cure well, it's probably going to be a lot of bubbles. Not mixing for long enough. I did this the first time I ever did resin. I think I mixed it for like 30 seconds and just started pouring, and it was so thick. It didn't work at all. I mix my resin for three to four minutes just using my phone timer, and I make sure to really scrape the edges and along the bottom and really get all that resin mixed well. This has happened to me many times, but if you're adding too much color, especially acrylic paint, I found, there might be pockets where it doesn't cure properly or the whole thing might not cure. So don't put too much color for the amount of resin. I think on the Art Resin website it says 6% color, so be mindful. I also think a little goes a long way with color. It usually mixes with resin very well, so just don't overdo it with that. If you are using the method where you have your resin hardener in hot water, you dry it off and then mix together, getting any droplets of water in your resin or hardener can cause it to not cure properly, so just make sure that you're drying your cups really well. Alright, that is my quick video on why your resin might be bendy. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and subscribe if you're new. As I said before, I would love to have you here. Let me know what type of resin videos you want to see from me or small business content because I would love to make it. Thank you for being here and hope to see you in my next video. Bye!